What is up, guys? It's Mitch with SC Weather. Hope y'all been having a great weekend, a great Sunday. Um, uh, it's been a pretty good weekend, pretty quiet weekend weather-wise. And uh, so we're going to talk about the tropics a little bit in this video. If you haven't, please subscribe. Um, trying to make these videos a lot better than what they are. I don't like screen recording. I like interacting with you guys a lot more. Um, and I'm trying to get to the point where I can do that a little bit more. So um, hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate that awesome way to support me. But anyways, this is a National Hurricane Center update from 2 p.m. It might be a little different by the time y'all watch it. Four areas to watch. Let's talk about this one real quick. 80% chance that this little area of disturbance will develop in the next five days just west of the Lesser Antilles. Even if this does develop, I don't think it's going to be any threat to the U.S., even a threat that it is to Mexico. I don't think um, it's going to be that bad. Um, there is a little area. This is typical of May, uh, kind of <clears throat> a front interaction will cause uh, probably a development, definitely into a depression right off the coast of the Carolinas. I don't think it's going to affect the mainland all steps except some high surf and things like that. Then there's two areas way out in the Atlantic, just off the coast of Africa. Uh, this one only has a 20% chance to develop, so I don't think it will. Um, National Hurricane Center is basically saying it's falling apart, that it's not going to be a threat. Then there's a wave coming off the coast of northern Africa that has a chance to develop in the next five days, 30% chance. Um, here's all kind of the circled areas about where they are. Um, you know, here's the thing. We're going to have some waves coming off Africa. We have a lot of potential in the tropics, so people are talking about it. But there's a couple things I want to mention. There's two main things, one a little bit more main than the other, that I really think in the short term and then one in the long term is going to prohibit any threats of tropical activity to the U.S. mainland for the next few weeks. And here's why. So here's the European. Um, all that energy down there in the tropics, you see the just slug of uh, that green area. Uh, I should have circled areas a little bit better for you guys, but I didn't. But long story short, as I'm, it's going through, and this is for this Thursday, you're not seeing a lot of that hurricane look, I guess you can say. Now, you see the system off the coast of New England. That is what could possibly take the name of Nana or Nana, however you want to call it. Um, that'll be the next name, the end name. Um it might develop into a storm. It might not. That would definitely be a complete waste of a name. Um, but that may be the case. You start to get into next weekend, next Saturday. And, uh, you know, you have a lot of energy down there in the tropics, in the tropical Atlantic. Uh, another wave coming off Africa. But you don't see anything really clustering up, uh, any kind of circulation. Uh, a definitely a, a tight area of uh, energy anywhere. You, you don't see really any true development Nothing can get going. Um, and you wonder why? Because there's a high pressure up top keeping things north from going out to sea. So the out to sea pattern really isn't there. So if anything develops, it, it could affect the U.S. But you start to get later. This is into next Monday, not this Monday. But here's why things aren't going to develop probably in the next 7 to 10 days. You got Saharan Desert. This is basically uh, the dust extinction uh, depth or if you will from weathermodels.com it's an awesome thing that we kind of used um, when we had that big area of dust that came over a couple months ago it was an awesome model it kind of started to become a lot known but you have an area of dust right where tropical development likes to develop so you got dry air you got these big waves coming off Africa, but you can't really get anything to get going because you have too much dry air and that's one of the few things that uh, tropical systems do not like is dry air um, and there's going to be a lot of it out there and it's going to really tamper down anything I think from truly developing and uh, I think and this is getting into you know this is September 4th um, for example and you still got Saharan Desert out there a lot right around kind of the Bahamas and stuff like that and it still shows some coming off the coast of northern Africa so it looks like that is going to keep tropical development down for the most part which is good news because uh, we're not going to have anything to really get going and with the steering currents right now if anything does get going I don't honestly think that out the sea route would be there so that means that it would plow right into the U.S. somehow maybe scrape it not sure those details don't really matter because we're not looking at that scenario but 
One thing I do want to mention is uh, this is September 7th. So this is on down the road. This is uh, what next next Monday, not tomorrow. Um, I think the Saharan Desert might start to subside a little bit. And then, as you can tell, this is the European Ensembles. Kind of those little SpaghettiO little things showing where low pressures could be clustering up. They kind of get going again. So they get going again. The desert, Saharan Desert or whatever, if you will, kind of starts to tamper down possibly. And you start to get maybe 10 days down the road from, from right now. You might start to get things starting to fire back up again. But here's the thing. Things may start to get fired back up again, but what you're getting in about... 10 to 14 days is some pretty nasty troughs. A trough is a cold front. When new cold fronts sweep across the U.S., if any, you notice how all these clusters are really north, that tells me that they're probably going to go out to sea whatever form. So maybe that high pressure is kind of sliding off or you've got some kind of troughs or cold fronts that might be clearing the whole entire east coast, which is what I talked about maybe getting a cool down here in the next 10 to 14 days. So if anything does form, a cold front would probably push it out to sea, but all those details need to be worked out. But for now, I think we're in the clear for the next few weeks for tropical activity affecting the U.S. and the Southeast and here in South Carolina. I'll keep y'all updated on this. Y'all have a blessed Sunday.